Hey everyone, it's Cher from Cher Made Crochet, back for another video. I hope this video is finding you well. Um, in today's video, I wanted to show you some of the finished objects that I had made um, over the month of July. Um, I do have quite a few, but these are the smaller of the t of the uh, my little groupings of finished objects. Um, the next video, I want to show you a couple more, but. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the finished objects that I have here right now. So the first finished object is a free pattern. It is the slouch, textured slouch hat by Christico Designs. Um, sorry, I have like all of my finished objects in my lap. So um, here it is. It is a bottom-up hat. You start from the brim, which for this one, it's a single crochet brim. I did the entire hat with a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, this yarn is Stylecraft Special Oran in the colorway dark brown. And this is Ice Yarn's Soft Chain Wool in greens and browns. And the reason why I kept with a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook is because this yarn is technically a smaller weight yarn than this, and I didn't want to mess too much uh, up with with weight difference, so I just maintained um, my hook size. Um, as you can see, this is more or less the Alpine stitch, so. It's just a series of front post double crochets and regular double crochet stitches. Um, and I do have to say that my new favorite way of making brims to hats are um, the single crochet brim. Um, I find that the brims of hats are like 90% of the reason why I don't like making bottom up hats. <laughs> so. It's definitely a game changer. Anyways, I uh, incorporated that uh, brim into my next hat, which is this right here. It's using the same style craft. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, so it's using the same style craft special Oran. I used a five millimeter crochet hook this time, and I used a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook here. And this is the Remy hat by Ruby Web Design, which is a paid for pattern. Um, I don't know what the colorway is for this yarn because I, um, I didn't have the tag. This was just stash yarn that I wanted to use up. So there's the top of that hat. So yeah. Um, Nothing special to say about, <laughs> nothing else to say about that. Um, but those are my two hats. So the next two finished objects are, I guess, my own pattern. I just worked in the round in different ways, and you'll see in just a moment what I'm talking about. But um, two things you need to know for both of these next two projects. I used a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and a half double crochet stitch because the yarn is a self-patterning style yarn um, and so anything more than a simple stitch would kind of defeat the purpose of a self-patterning yarn I guess. So anyways, here is the first one and all I did was I did a circular base I increased until I was happy with the size and I was I had the idea that I would make a crochet hook case or a pencil case in mind um, I just didn't really I only had half a skein left so I just wanted to use up the other half um, and so for this one I think I've had this in my stash since 2014 so it's been like a stupid long time since I've had this yarn and all I know from it is that 
it is a Lion brand yarn and that it is 100% um, acrylic. As you can see up here, it's a drawstring bag. Maybe here, just like that. Just like that, okay. And kind of looks like an Easter egg. I just wanted to show you that because I thought it was super cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just had this in mind. And then what I did to make room for the um, drawstring was I didn't do like any chains or like I didn't make any holes. What I did was instead of using a half double crochet stitch, I used a double crochet stitch and wove in um, my chain just through the posts of the double crochet stitches. And that's all I did. Um, I really didn't want to do any fancy, anything fancy. Um, I didn't want to count. I didn't want to do any of that. So I just rolled with what I got. Um, so that is the first of the two um, pencil cases slash crochet hook cases. So the next one is like this. Now this yarn is Urban Chic yarn in the colorway Juneberry Breeze. Um, I believe that this is a cotton acrylic blend. And so what I did was I made the closure um, a really long chain and then I single crocheted down it. So yeah, so that it would be thicker. Um, and I made it long enough to wrap around twice and so that you could knot it right here. So you can knot it um, and that way it'll keep the contents of the bag um, in place. So anyways, there it is. I did a foundation half double crochet row and then when I got it as long as I thought was appropriate, I did three half double crochets on the end and then along the other side I did half double crochet stitches and then on the other end I did three more half double crochet and then from there I just worked half double crochets in the round without doing any more increases until until it was what I felt was an appropriate size and so there it is. It kind of reminds me of a wallet. So there's that. And then for the flap, I just stopped working in uh, rounds and I just started working in turned rows. And then, yeah, when I thought that the length of the flap was appropriate, I made the chain. Um, and so Basically, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is finished objects number three and four. So the next two finished objects, I'm actually going to insert pictures because I feel that that would be the best way to show you the items. Um, both of them are shawls. The first one is the Rivulet Shawl. It is a pattern by, a free pattern by Purple Iguana. And I believe I used a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And the yarn I used is Rainbow Rhapsody, which is a Hobby Lobby yarn. Um, it's Rainbow Rhapsody in the colorway Brilliant Blonde. And I used the entire ball. It's basically like a Hobium Twister yarn or a Shepias, um, I think, Whirls yarn. Um, I think that's the right brands of yarn. Anyways, um, Rose from Rose Likes Crochet made uh, the shawl um, sometime early in July. And I thought that it was the perfect um, shawl because of how simple it looked um, for slow gradient yarns. 
And the yarn, it's, I mean, not the yarn, but the uh, shawl itself ended up being about maybe a little bit larger than a shawlette size. Um, I think for me, it works just fine. Um, it comes down to my elbows, but I am also a rather petite person. So for anybody else, I would use at least two balls of this yarn, maybe even three, um, just because it's easy to be a, a bigger person than me because I'm petite. So, um, yeah, that is the shawl, uh, the first of the two shawls that I wanted to talk about. The second shawl is a paid for pattern by Bernadette Amber again. It's called Victoria. Um, and I followed the pattern basically exactly. It's just that I didn't use the right hook or uh, weight of yarn because I was wanting a bigger um, shawl. So anyways, uh, the yarn that I used is Yarn B Sweet Divinity Yarn in the colorway Blush. And I used five skeins of yarn and a five millimeter crochet hook. The pattern calls for a fingering weight yarn and I believe a four millimeter crochet hook. Um, but like I said, I wanted a bigger uh, end to my shawl. And it's actually a big enough shawl for me to comfortably um, wrap myself in. But I don't think it would be a com or it would be a good shawl to wrap uh, in a person that is like 5'10". Uh, just like a taller person, taller, taller and broader person. So, um, but anyways, I digress. Um, so yeah, those are all of my finished objects I have to show you today. Um, I will be doing another video, uh, hopefully soon to show you, um, the other, uh, Pattern, I mean, not patterns, but um, the other projects that I have completed. All of them require a little bit more... Uh, I, I kind of need to model it for you without being awkward. And the way my setup is right now, it's I'm going to bump into something and it's going to be horrible for all of us. So anyways, now that I've gotten into rambling, I just wanted to say hi and... Thank you all for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.